Did you know that around 80% or even more of sexual assaults are carried out by people the victim knows? These people often blend smoothly into our lives, making it crucial to recognize their tactics and signs. Today, we're gonna to dive into an important topic, non-stranger predators. These people have a disturbing ability to seamlessly become a part of our lives, making them especially dangerous. Throughout this video, we'll uncover tactics they use and strategies they employ. By understanding these methods, you'll be better equipped to protect yourself and your loved ones. If you're new here, I'm Justina. I'm a self-defense instructor and the founder of Rise Self-Protection. On this channel, I focus on providing you with tools for self-defense that cover not just physical aspects, but also psychological and emotional aspects. Remember, self-defense starts long before things become physical. So if you're interested in learning comprehensive self-defense skills to protect you anywhere in your life, then you're in the right place. If you haven't already, you're welcome to check out my free training resource. It's designed to help you navigate uncomfortable situations like unwanted hugs and breaches of personal boundaries. And I'd also love it if you join the Rise Sisterhood. It's our private Facebook group where we engage in deeper discussions on topics like the one we're exploring today. It's a safe space for learning, sharing experiences, teaching, and growing. Now let's dig into the intricate tactics used by non-stranger predators to identify their target and their victims. Non-stranger predators have a talent for blending seamlessly into our lives, presenting themselves as pretty much normal people without a hint of sinister intentions. This disguise hides their true motives. They can adapt to their surroundings like social chameleons, fitting into our communities, workspaces, and social circles. This adaptability lets them become part of our lives without arousing suspicion. Charisma and persuasion are a couple of their main tools. They're really good at captivating and winning people over by creating an atmosphere of trust and likability. This charm disarms targets and creates a false sense of security. They're also experts at manipulating emotions. They look for situations where they can take advantage of empathy and toy with their target's emotions to gain control. By forming an emotional bond, they make it harder for their victims to see the manipulation or question the predator's motives. Understanding these tactics requires being more aware. Trusting your instincts and noticing subtle warning signs is really important. Even though they are skilled at hiding their true intentions, you still might be able to see differences or inconsistencies in their behavior patterns. It's important to know that it is not the victim's fault for not recognizing a predator's true nature. These manipulation tactics are well-practiced skills, but by shedding light on these deceptive strategies, we can empower ourselves and our loved ones, encouraging them to listen to their instincts, recognize potential danger, and avoid harm. So now let's shift our focus to how these predators gain trust within our communities. Non-stranger predators use charm and charisma to gain the trust of their targets. They carefully present themselves as genuine, kind, friendly, and approachable people. They're skilled at starting conversations, making people comfortable, and leaving a positive impression. This charm becomes the foundation for their connections and makes it harder to believe the victims if they do come forward. They work hard to build a good reputation and they choose targets who are less likely to be believed. They often use love bombing to overwhelm the targets with affection, compliments, and attention, further blurring the line between real care and hidden motives. Their storytelling skills are another powerful tool. By sharing personal stories or experiences that resonate with their targets, they create a sense of understanding and strengthen emotional bonds. These stories are carefully crafted to evoke empathy and make targets believe that the predator is trustworthy. By creating a false sense of security and manipulating trust, non-stranger predators are able to maintain control. Non-stranger predators are experts at using emotions for control. They find vulnerabilities, exploit emotions, and create dependency. Love bombing, emotional manipulation, and isolation strategies work together to weaken the resistance. Protecting yourself from emotional manipulation means having healthy boundaries, emotional intelligence, and open communication. Remember, the responsibility is on the predator, not the victims. And by revealing these manipulation tactics, we give people the ability to see through the manipulation and resist it. Unlike strangers who might use force, non-stranger predators often slowly break down personal boundaries. They start with small requests to test compliance and gradually push for more, normalizing the inappropriate action. 
This progression is what makes targets accept increasingly inappropriate behavior. Setting strong boundaries is an effective defense against non-stranger predators. People have the right to set and enforce their boundaries, preventing coercion and manipulation. Non-stranger predators often cleverly pose as protectors, using familiarity and trust to get to their targets. So let's explore the strategies they use for this deception. They make themselves familiar, appearing as mentors, confidants, or even family members. They build relationships over time, establishing trust and making their targets feel safe. They might act helpful and protective, but they're really hiding their true intentions. This behavior gains support and assistance from their targets, further strengthening the trust and dependency. Exploiting this trust becomes their strategy. They often use their perceived authority to manipulate and control, influencing their target's thoughts, actions, and boundaries. Dependency grows in these relationships and makes targets more reliant on the predator emotionally, financially, or in other ways. This deepens the loyalty and the predator's control. Keeping up a good image is important to non-stranger predators because it makes it harder to see their harmful intent, not just for their targets, but for others as well. Being vigilant, skeptical, and evaluating new relationships or people who seem like protectors is essential. Awareness and education is what helps prevent these predators from going undetected. By spreading awareness, encouraging dialogue, and promoting community watchfulness, we can create an environment where predators struggle to operate and people are more skilled at identifying and dealing with potential threats. Non-stranger predators aim to isolate targets from their social networks knowing that isolation makes victims easier to manipulate. Recognizing and countering these isolation strategies is crucial. Knowing the signs of isolation is key to personal protection. Non-stranger predators try to cut victims off from their support networks, making them more vulnerable to manipulation. So building strong support systems and keeping open communication with trusted people counteracts this tactic. It reduces the risk of isolation and its dangers. Trust your instincts. If something feels wrong, seeking professional help is proactive. Secrecy is another essential part of a non-stranger predator's plan. By keeping things secret, they continue to manipulate and control. This secrecy makes victims feel ashamed and prevents them from seeking help. But breaking the silence is powerful. Sharing experiences, seeking support, and spreading awareness removes the shroud of secrecy, giving victims more control over their own stories. By understanding these complex tactics, we all contribute to a safer world. Staying informed, watchful, and united makes us stronger against non-stranger predators. Together, we build accountability and safety. By understanding these complex tactics, we all contribute to a safer world. Staying informed, watchful, and united makes us stronger against non-stranger predators. And together, we can build a culture of accountability and safety. I hope this video helps you become more resilient. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow me on all my social media platforms. And if you find value in what I create and want to support its continuation, you can become a patron on Patreon. Your support not only gives you access to exclusive content, but also helps share empowering information with the women plus worldwide who need it the most. So stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.